I knew I managed to forget one thing. I still had that little uh, bit of the game you can see under the intro screen, but we're back here with the Bloodhounds, and as you guys can probably tell, this is a different dog. Basically, there seems to be an issue with the max level tracking. So instead of bringing Rocky around and having some of those issues, we have this guy, which is named Storm. We'll bring him with us and see if we can find anything cool out here on Leighton Lakes. We might also switch to Parquet at some point to look at the Black Buck again, but I think we did two videos on him plus the Twitch stream, so I thought it would be good to switch it up. What's up, Rebecca? You're right, it's busy. As is expected when there's something new coming out. But yeah, to explain that um, Bloodhound issue a little bit, when you reach the max tracking level, they for some reason track in slow motion, and I thought I found a workaround, it was working before the stream, and then the game crashed, and I couldn't get it to work again. So, hopefully, when they actually come out, if that uh, issue is still happening, hopefully there's some kind of workaround that'll be found to deal with that until a fix actually comes out. And I'm hoping like once everybody has it, that kind of thing can be discovered, but my little workaround managed to work for one session. But the nice thing is the Bloodhounds are pretty good at low level as well, so I think Storm will do a decent enough job with us. Uh, DH, thanks for the super chat, by the way. Flying back home to Hawaii from Texas, and I'm watching you from the LA airport right now. That's pretty cool, man. Hope your uh, travels are going well. Stay safe. Don't worry about Kyla's YouTube. Don't worry about it. It's all fine. Is it coming out on Xbox? All platforms release is tomorrow. What's up, Tayson? Uh, what's better, crossbow or rangefinder sight regular bow? Ooh. Hmm. wonder if we can find that. Random max weight coyote track. It's gonna depend. Because this is like a midnight zone. If we can figure out wherever he left, I might go and look for that. Uh, who else is there? Uh, Copper thanks for... Or not, Co Cooper. There was a Copper on Twitch. Got me all confused. Cooper thanks for the super chat. Excited for the Black Buck True X? Definitely. They look really good. I'm really, really excited to see uh, like different diamond variations and stuff. And again, like once everybody has access to it, I think it's going to be fun to get to see everything posted in Discord and stuff. All these coyote tracks are old. Unless we could find a new one, I don't like our odds, so we might just kind of continue going around. Phone just froze. It's no good. Tried downloading Call of the Wild and it just keeps crashing uh. when I try to start a game. Like when you hit new game or whatever. And TH thanks again, will the bloodhounds go and retrieve the birds? No, uh, they just track animals. They don't do any kind of retrieving. I do think, though, the way the Bloodhounds seem, I'm guessing that we will see retrievers eventually. Because the Bloodhounds have done quite well for me, and it seems like a lot of people are quite excited for them, so I'm expecting that. Get Storm to come with us here. What's up, Jacob? Bloodhounds are a DLC. Uh, $3.99. $3.99 US. Can you change maps? Wait, what do you mean? Are you asking to change maps for like where we're hunting today? By the way, does the player make a trail this wide or was that from Storm going behind us? I think it was Storm. Every time I hit new game, it just freezes and crashes. You know what I would do? Try like different graphic settings and windowed mode and stuff. Just see if that does anything because it might have issues with your hardware. Do you have every diamond? Um, I do. I don't have every diamond in a new trophy lodge or on the new scoring system. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm just completely forgetting about one, I've got one of everything uh, except for Red Fox in the new trophy lodge. Is this that coyote track? Okay. We're going to come back to that, because we might actually have where it left the zone now. we got to go and get a black tail. Thoughts of ultimate hunting. So yeah, I watched that trailer... There's obviously kind of limited information as far as what we can kind of gather from that, but it looked pretty good. It looked like something that could be a lot of fun. Okay, you already have that stuff. Is your... Does your PC meet the, like, minimum requirements that Steam 
has listed. Just made the switch to PC as Call of the Wild on Steam, it sure is. I think it might still be on sale as well, it was recently. I'm not sure how long that sale was going to last. Can you make a video where you go to your lodges? We're actually going to do a stream of that fairly soon. I really do want to get my Red Fox uh, diamond in there and then do it. Honestly, if we don't have a diamond Red Fox in the next week or two, though, we're going to just go without it. But basically, we're going to stream taking the entire lodge apart and then basically putting it back together and hopefully making it look a little better. What's up, Carmi? Back with the doggo was contemplating getting the DLC. I would recommend it. I am most certainly not Kyla's brother. Not quite. Uh. Alright. I think Storm found his second animal. Pretty sure I had him find something earlier. Give him a treat for that. I don't know. It was the Twitch stream that we barely got to do any of that on. We'll also give him a pet so he's up to the max in bonding. I'll have to look at the requirements for now. I'm just hunting elk on Redfeather. Well, at least you have something to do with that, I guess. Uh, Twinkies, thanks for the super chat, by the way. Good afternoon, Flinter, and everyone. How's your day going so far? Not too bad. Been a decent day so far. Hope yours has been as well. Oh my goodness, TTV. <laughs> uh, the Legend I did. I watched the trailer. I'm excited to see more. I think it's going to be something that we definitely try out. What's up, Cycle? Whether there will be dogs of other species. Yeah, um, I would say it's likely that we see things like retrievers or German shorthair pointers, for instance, because that's in the Hunter Classic. Those sorts of breeds. I think it's just a matter of time, quite honestly. Is Nightbot not working, by the way, Kyla? Oh, can find out from Rebecca's command. There he is. Good. I hadn't seen him, so was checking. Hey, Tux. Big fan from India. That's cool. I don't think I've seen India listed uh, super often as an area that uh, viewers are from. Where are the tracks gone now? Man, <laughs> that's lame. I mean, it's the early access, so it's not like we could keep any potential diamond coyote that that may have been, but honestly, that might save us time. If the tracks are disappearing, they probably would have disappeared later. Um, DH, thank you again. I'm going back to school in person tomorrow. For the first time in a year, and I arrive at 10.30, I don't know how I'm going to survive. That's going to be a change. Has it really been a full year? Since you've been in school in person? That's going to be so different. I really wonder just, like, what kind of impact all that has. I guess we'll find out. Uh. I got you, Karmi guy. Well, the nice thing is they'll be there waiting for you. Um, I suck. Thanks for the super chats. How's it going, man? Good to have you here. Uh. What's up, Hunter? Got five diamonds? Nice, man. Um, I don't know what order Super Chats are happening in, but Kaden, thank you as well. Missed a shot on my first diamond lion. I got eager and took a bad shot. That happens, dude. I've definitely done it. I did it on the Albino Fallow on Te Awaroa last week. Like, I mean, it wasn't like a super special animal, but I still definitely could have taken my time more. Just messed up what would have been a silver, but it happens. That was nice of that alert to go up before the name's gone. A uh, Lilith Pupper, Pupper, am I saying that right? Other than the fact that I completely said it wrong the first time. Thanks for becoming a channel member. Make sure you join the Discord and link up your YouTube over there. Get the member roll. Take advantage of the good stuff that comes along with that. Appreciate you. And enjoy the emojis and green name in chat as well. Apparently in my district, all the average ACT scores are lower because of that. I mean, I can imagine. I know I would not do well. Like, with having to do, like, online schooling. I just, I didn't do well in person, so online would not be it for me. they are all those, but we might as well have something for Storm to track. Or to literally go and smell because it's laying there dead. Alright, good. Glad I got it right. What's up, bottom boy? Getting hyped for the doggos one more day. 
One more. I know you weren't here to catch the beginning. I don't know if you've uh, seen from Scarecrow, but when you hit the max tracking level, the dogs have a little bit of like a slow-mo tracking bug. So we have a new one with us today. Storm's just running around behind us, having a grand old time. Well, thank you, Pupper. I appreciate that. Tips for turkey hunting in real life. I am not the best turkey hunter, but it's a lot of turkey hunting is experience. Like you gotta kind of learn everything from like the time between your call and a gobbler's response to if they're responding at all to hearing how far away they are and other signs you can pick up on. Like so much of that is just experience. The best thing I could say though is like. Look up some YouTube videos of the guys that are super successful with it, because calling calling tips in general, that's some of the biggest, like, or most important things you can do is just have the best and most realistic calling. Gotta get their attention. I did bottom boy. I have a dog in classic named Storm as well, and I like that name. Um... I'm gonna go with Kyle. I don't know how to say the first part of that, but thanks for the super chat. Can you have the dog track with no blood? Um, sort of. Praise Storm for that. Uh, and we'll also give him a treat, because he's down on his bond right now. So basically, you can't have the dog track an animal that's not been shot at all, but once you shot it, if it stops bleeding, the dog can continue tracking it. It'll actually switch from saying tracking blood to tracking prey. Uh, if you watch, uh, I think that was yesterday's video where we tried out the spotted trait. We were able to continue tracking a water buffalo that had completely stopped bleeding. But yeah, you can't just pick any track and have them follow it, unfortunately. I wish they could. Uh, Garrett, thanks for the super chat. Why don't oysters donate to charity? Because they're shellfish. Should have known. I don't know where that was going. <laughs> thanks for the super chat and the joke, man. I like it. Appreciate you. Somebody, I swear I saw a meat eater on there. I don't know if somebody's asking if I watch it, and I don't see it anymore. Oh, watch meat eater on Netflix. If you're telling me to do that, I definitely do. If you're going to the turkey hunting advice, because I know he actually does quite well turkey hunting, <laughs> might be a good place to go and look. I like how we're just dropping everything. Um, Twinkies, thank you again for the super chat. Feeling a bit, I'm curious if that's meant to say generous. Uh, so yeah, another super chat. Genuine or generous. Thank you so much. I hope so, bottom boy. I did have a workaround, though. I did have one working for a little while. So, basically, what I did was I kenneled Rocky, exited the game, started again, set him as active, and then it worked. But I shot, like, six black tail in one spot, the game crashed, and I could not get that to do it again. I don't know why. By the way, I don't think you need the dog to find the animal to get, like, the maximal gain. I'm pretty sure once you set him on the track, he gains whatever he's going to gain from the, uh, if I go into the thing, the companion and trackers, but we'll let him find that, just for fun. Ooh, almost messed that up too, not that it would matter, it was just a doe. I was hoping we might find more by going up to this area, but we'll go up a little bit into, what is this technically, High Lake I guess? See if there's any elk or that kind of stuff up there. Meant to type generous? Yeah, I, th I thought that made a little more sense, but you never know. Does anyone know at what time the DLC will come out tomorrow? I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Most DLCs have been pretty consistently like mid-morning uh, US East. So say like 8 or 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Gonna have to make, you know, time conversions there, but it's usually there or earlier. Yeah, they are bottom boy. I will say though, uh, I mentioned like there was the the slow tracking bug and maybe there's a workaround, maybe there's not. The Scarecrow had found that and I was working last night to get my dog up to the max tracking level and basically try to test and see if that was an issue. When you get to like 13 and 14 tracking level, they are just sprinting after stuff. 
Like, a lot of times they get so far ahead of you, they'll turn around and bark and wait for you to catch up. Which is good, they're really good trackers, it's just they gotta work out that one little issue. They are also buggy with ducks and geese, yeah, if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, don't have them attempt to track any kind of duck or goose that's uh, been shot, it'll just crash the game. Especially if it's a level 3 duck, like we did. Found a guaranteed diamond moose and the game froze and everyone from the server got kicked. I guess that's kind of the potential downfall of hunting multiplayer. There's always those things that can happen. There's obviously a lot of positives. It's a buck way down there. I don't think we're going to go that far. But yeah, it's, it's unfortunate when that sort of stuff occurs. Play Parquet Fernando? We might switch. Might spend like an hour on Leighton and then go do an hour on Parquet. We shall see. If we do that, though, we're going to have Black Bug pretty much the entire time. Best spot to hunt Elk in Leighton Lake? So I don't know if it's because I'm on like a separate save here. Because of course this is like the early access. This isn't my normal save game. I have so many Elk up in this area. It is ridiculous. And I'm kind of hoping that's just going to be that they sort of redid the zones again. Nice, David. But, uh, yeah, anyway. I might check this stretch, starting from about here and going all the way at least there, if not further north. There were just herds and herds of bull elk up there. It was great. No big ones, by the way. Do you think they'll eventually let the dogs retrieve ducks? I don't think the bloodhounds are gonna. I would expect to see eventually a retriever uh, breed released. I really think, like everything I've seen, oh my goodness, breath would be nice. Not having it. Anyway, everything I've seen from the bloodhounds, I really think they are gonna have a pretty positive reception by the overall community. And assuming that's the case, I would then expect future dog breeds to be more of a priority, but we'll have to see. Maybe I'm a little uh, more interested in the dogs than others may be. Um, Jesse, thanks for the super chat. Can't wait for the dogs. And I miss DH in there. Was watching Mediator on the plane. Out of curiosity, was that just like the Netflix download feature? Could have been. Kyla only puts fallow in her lodge. We know how that goes. Opinion of Medved Taiga. Um, it's known as Dreadved for a reason. It can be good. It's just... I don't know. I think compared to other maps, it just doesn't have the quantity of animals. <laughs> I swear, I answered that question before Kyla typed that. There's just a delay. But yes, Dreadbed indeed. By the way, that question about elk, you can see, got just a ton of bulls over here. I don't know. How, that's a four? I don't know how. I guess we'll shoot that one. Can actually have a proper track then, at least in all likelihood. I tried to do this earlier, as I was trying to find that workaround for the Bloodhounds, I tried to shoot an elk at like 370 meters, thinking, like, of course we'll be able to track that one. And naturally, spinal cord is still a thing, and it's exactly where I hit it. Will they add different breeds of dogs? I expect to see that eventually, but there's no official information on that. grind geese for money? Um, I mean, I guess I could, if I needed it. I saw a guy at level 74. Yeah, that is some kind of like hacking or modding or something like that. If you're on a server like that in multiplayer, uh, I would be very suspicious of like diamonds and stuff. There are servers out there now when you're playing multiplayer that basically every male animal is going to be a diamond. If you see stuff like that, it's probably not one you want to stay on, unless you don't care about, like, legit legitimacy of animals. But for me, if I spot, like, say there's a herd of elk and they're all fives, like, it's a pretty good giveaway. I have Mark. I think it looks good. 
I am looking forward to giving that a shot. Uh, do you think they'll add beagles? I don't know. We don't have as uh. much use for them in the game as is right now. There'd be some mechanics that have to work out, but maybe we might see that kind of thing. Um, Kelsey, thanks for the super chat. My husband and I love watching your videos. I shot my first albino harlequin duck last night while playing. That's really cool. I like them. Excited for the dogs? Good to hear. I think I think they're going to be a lot of fun. Minus the one little uh, max level tracking issue, which hopefully gets resolved. It's going to be good. So, level 5 now on companion. I want to get the shortcut trait here. Just to see. Because we did the other trait with Rocky. Just kind of getting the chance to try out other traits as we go along. Nice, Jacob. Would love a rabbit hunting beagle in the game. Yeah, that's what I was kind of getting at with the mechanics that would need to be added. Because rabbits fleeing straight away, a, a beagle's not helping you much. They need to sort of circle them back to you. Let's see if we can claim this. Praise Storm for that. And to get Bond back to the max, give him a treat. One thing I want to pay attention to as we go along, by the way, is how often we need to pet him or, like, shake or give him a treat or something to keep the uh, Bond at best friend. Because I'm wondering, like, how useful that loving trait is. So we did shortcut. With Rocky, I had loving. And I felt like it was every maybe, like, five minutes I had to do that. So we'll see. Good boy, exactly, bottom boy. Man, we need we need twitch emos for that, huh? Might need to be a thing. We'll see. A couple of decent sized ducks, but there's not a whole lot of point in shooting them when the dog can't actually retrieve them. Okay, well, technically that's got a decent chance at making diamond. Why not? We'll shoot that and I guess that's storm making noise. Shoot that and see if there's anything else around to get while we're waiting. Did we hit the one in front of it? Uh, no, I think we got the right one. Can you have more than one dog at a time with you? At least not more than one bloodhound at a time. I do wonder, eventually... I can't believe we made that hard shot. Um, like, let's say there is a second dog breed released. I wonder if we'll be able to, uh, like, actually have two with us. I highly doubt it, but I guess there's a chance. We're not going to have him track this, because it's probably going to crash the game since our duck's down, but that was solid enough. Nothing at all. How are you using the dog if it comes out tomorrow? Uh, Expansive Worlds gave a lot of content creators early access to kind of show them off, and... I guess do probably a bit of testing as well. Smoked. Do the treats cost money in game? Yeah, it's 4,000 in game cash for 25 treats. I was looking at that. I have almost 8 million in the live game. And I could buy exactly 50,000 dog treats with that. So, just an idea. What's up, Judith? I got you, Kyla. 4,000 for 25. When do you think there will be another great one? Don't even worry. It's all good. Um, I don't know. The great ones seem to still have issues pretty much a year later at this point. So, I'm not sure. They probably gotta get all that worked out first. Treats cost in-game money, not a... Uh, they're a part of the dog DLC. Actually, I can't promise that. They might be in the game regardless of whether or not you have the DLC. Wouldn't make a lot of sense. Gonna have a fat dog running around? Yeah, he's gonna look like, uh... One of the feral pigs from Te Awaroa. Film a date with Kyla? Maybe if we... Go hunting either this spring or fall? Drew, uh. thanks for the super chat. Have you played Hunting Sim to Ranger's Life? Is it good? I saw that on Twitter. I've not messed with it at all. I'm kind of thinking, once we do a bit more of Deer Hunter 2005, 
we might mess around with some other games, kind of like Hunting Sim 2 or The Hunter Primal. Those sort of games kind of as our Throwback Thursday thing. Hunting Sim 2 is not so much a throwback since it was released, I guess, in 2020, but a throwback to something we haven't done in a while. Great one, Elk. Yeah, I'm hoping eventually, like, all the antlered animals get great ones, but for now, we just gotta wait and see. That's a actually really nice buck. Technically, that's got a chance at diamond. I don't think level 4 Blacktail can make it. I haven't seen one. We might kind of take a shot there. It depends on... Because she's drinking there. Yeah, there we go. Glad we waited. Walking shot at 300 is not the easiest thing to accomplish. That works, though. Storm's going to have a pretty easy day at this rate. Just pick up the animals that we've already dropped. What's up, Carter? Welcome to the stream, man. What's the hardest story mission? <laughs> There's some that I've definitely struggled with. Shooting a fox with a bow early on in Hirschfelden is kind of tough, if you haven't played the game a lot to understand some of the mechanics. Uh, Tana, what's going on, man? Thanks for the super chat. Just started doing trap and skeet. Got a new over-under shotgun that I shot yesterday. Got a 20 out of 25 score on trap. Not too bad, dude. Not bad at all. Especially with a new gun. Kind of getting used to using that, I'm sure. Hmm. Surprised those all hung around. These guys just went a couple of meters and are nervously drinking. Some moose back in there. All kinds of stuff. Trying to get a diamond black buck before Turek. Yeah, I can imagine that's uh, suddenly something a lot of people are doing. I wish we had gotten a bigger heads up on that. I probably will do a black buck guide anyway, but it's going to have to be like after um, True Rack's release, because that's tomorrow as well. Kind of got blindsided by that one. I don't think anybody knew that was on its way. DLC releases tomorrow. Yes. Bloodhound type? Are there different types of bloodhounds? I sure don't know. I did see he wasn't the maximum bond already. So that loving trait may actually be worth it, but I do want to mess around a little more with the um the shortcut trait just to see what that does. We'll claim this as he's staring at it. Yeah, it was lower end. Still low. Ten below diamond. Pretty decent. Get him to sit down and give him a treat since we're here. What gun do you hunt with in real life? Um, I've used a 30-30 for right about 10 years, but last February, not a month ago, a year and a month ago, I bought a 7mm Odd 8. I just have not gotten to shoot anything live with it yet. Hopefully that's going to change. When you shoot ducks and other birds, can you get the dog to retrieve it? You cannot. Bloodhounds are just tracking dogs. Next season should be different, you say? I think so. Uh, yes, honey. 399 US or your equivalent of that. More duckos. Small duckos. Unimpressive males. Uh, I don't think it's going to release at midnight. Pretty sure that's what you're asking there with the zeros. Um, it's usually, like, kind of mid-morning. That's another pretty good buck. Mid-morning, uh, U.S. East, basically. So, whatever the conversion of that is. Sometimes it's kind of earlier morning. I seem to remember for Hunga. I believe that was like 6 or 7 a.m. here. It just depends. I'm not sure exactly what determines, like, when. But I've seen the DLCs be pretty consistent like that. Did you make a new dog? I did. This is Storm. The reason we don't have Rocky with us is it seems when you reach the maximum tracking level, which is, if we go into here, 
It should be 15, but it shows a 16 at 0%, which might be part of the issue. But basically, if you set them on a track, you have to ID the track first, or they can't even find any. Um, and even when they do track, they go in slow motion. Now, I did find a workaround, but it basically... It was working fine, game crashed, and I couldn't get it to repeat. So I'm guessing whatever I thought was the workaround actually wasn't, and something else was making it work. I'm hoping once the dogs are out and once the entire community gets their hands on them, some kind of other workaround that is actually going to work long term, I guess, will be found. But yeah, for now we just have Stormless. We can kind of experiment with new traits and stuff. Uh, Twinkies and TH, thanks again. Hopefully I'll be back soon, but I have to go. I have to go shovel our driveway because it snowed heavily last night. That's always a, a fun time. Hope that goes well. And what about hybrid animals as a new type of rare? Hmm. I could see that potentially working with certain species. Could be kind of neat. Missions are the worst? I think it depends on your, like, style of game or whatever. Definitely can be. Will it release on midnight? You're my favorite streamer. Well, thank you. I don't think it's going to release at midnight. I mean, maybe midnight somewhere, but usually it is, like I said, kind of mid-morning-ish U.S. East. Oh, nice, Carter. You want a beagle next? You never know. You never know what their plans are going to be. I don't even know where we shot this one. Storm might be on it before we are. Oh yeah. Ran right past the blood, but he knows what's up. What's up, Bubbles? What guns to use in the game? I'd say my most used guns would be... Like, my most used loadout, even. Is... 300, M1, 243, 22. You gonna bark? Do it. That was pretty obedient. Alright. Another decent buck. Give Storm a treat for that. Can the dog track footprints? So, they can't track footprints if the animal hasn't been shot yet. They can, though. If you shoot the animal and it stops bleeding, they can continue tracking that. <laughs> Why beagles? We need retrievers or pointers. Retrievers, I think, is uh, especially for goose hunting, something that I'd really like to see because it is kind of annoying. The ducks, they were talking about maybe a rework. A rework. I don't know what I just said. Maybe a rework for like the waterfowl hunting, and if they do that, maybe there'd be more utility in retrieving ducks. But geese, a lot of times you're shooting them 200, 300 meters out with a 22, and running all the way out to claim those every time can be frustrating. Uh, Paxton and Trey, thanks for the super chats, guys. Love all your streams, inspires me to play the game more. Well, I'm glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. I like to, when I'm just like grinding for diamonds or whatever, I like to have <laughs> some kind of call the wild or even classic content up, just seeing other people. Having their success is usually something to drive me to keep going. What's up, Propellerhead? I'm good. Hope you are as well. Was the first animal you killed in Call of the Wild? Oh man, um... So... I got to play the game in its beta state for like two days back in December of 2016. I think it was a road deer. I'm pretty sure we could only play Hirschfelden on that beta. And I do believe it would have been like a road deer doe, maybe the tutorial animal. I almost feel like I missed that one or something though. I don't know, bottom boy. That's It's quite rude, I must say. So hyped about the dogs. They're really cool. I really do enjoy having mine with me. There's, I keep mentioning it, but uh, there's the little issue with the max level tracking thing, which is kind of frustrating, but once that's solved, 
Like, I wish I could get uh, Rocky out here to show you guys, but he's just not quite working. They just, like, fly to the tracks. Once they're max level, they are really, really good trackers. Uh. What's up, Joe? I am. Hope you are as well. And Wings, thanks for the super chat. The easiest way to level the dog up as we level the dog up. Fantastic timing. Um, honestly, I think the best way is going to be deer hunting with like the M1. Because I mentioned this earlier. I don't think, from what I've seen, that the dog has to find the animal technically. I think he has to just pick up one track and then like that gives him the full XP of like a, you know, a track command or whatever you want to call that. So, I would say hunting any animal that travels in herds and shooting as many of those as possible is probably the best way. Obviously, I've only gotten to test to a certain degree, but that seems to be really good. And Jack, I wish I had a dog in real life. I can't have a dog in this apartment. I'll go into play and I will be moved out and have, have an opportunity to get a dog maybe by the end of spring. We'll have to see how things go here. All the meese. I've learned a lot seeing your videos. You're the best. Well, thank you. I'm glad the videos have been helpful. It's always good to hear. Wow. Ooh, that's a decent white tail, though. I was about to be saddened by that big male black tail. I wonder, because we should try to shoot two things here, just to try to level up a little quicker. That's that one. Yeah, I should have thought that far ahead. Naturally, the blacktail was going to spook because he was already alert. But um, I wonder if we can reach level 10 companion during this stream. He's already 6. We might be able to. Got to keep his bond up, but if we shoot a lot of deer and stuff, we may be able to manage that. Would be nice. <laughs> Flinter's face. That's it right there. Do you have more than a million dollars? Uh, not in real life, I don't. In game, I do. Do you recommend buying binoculars in this game? The rangefinder binoculars? 100%. It saves you a slot if you're carrying the rangefinder around. And it's just so useful to know how far away stuff is because it's not only for shots animals spook at a pretty consistent range so if you're running animals start to spook at about 150 meters if you're walking it's 120 if you're crouching it's about 80 uh, if you're prone it's somewhere in the area of 30 and just having the binoculars up and being able to check on that range super quickly and consistently it actually makes a pretty big difference oh Tristan yeah <laughs> that is something else that's a part of this update which is huge and it seems to be working animals do get to their zones like a lot more quickly now and it seems like as quickly as they should so i'm excited for that it's gonna help with grinding everything from whitetail for those of us that are still going for great ones to looking for red fox um carmy guy thanks for the super chat by the way honestly your videos have helped me more than anything I'm gonna get him to track this real quick and i wouldn't be as hooked if i hadn't found your channel much love. Well, I appreciate you, man. And like I said, I'm always glad to hear that. Glad to hear people like finding the game or, uh, you know, learning stuff, growing to love the game through this community or the channel. It's what I like to hear. I love this community. So every uh, little contribution there can be in my mind is a good thing. Good to know. Good. Should be finding this in just a second. So we'll claim that. 216. I like this as well. You can um, claim the animal and he'll start barking and like still recover it. I'm still pretty convinced you don't need to have him do that, but if you want to hear him barking, you can kind of claim it and wait. Is this dog any use? In a lot of ways, um, I would say most of the time it's not necessarily the most useful. But the way that I look at it, let's see if we can do this. The odds that we hard shot that are not good. What if we got a lung? Alright, that'll work. Would have been cool to make a blind hard shot, but something for the dog to track. Anyway, um, there is undoubtedly going to be 
a scenario here or there where you can't find the tracks and if you've taken the time to level up your dog maybe it can save you and maybe you can like find a diamond that you're tracking or like in yesterday's video the spotted trait if you haven't seen it basically we made a poor shot on a water buffalo on purpose and if you start tracking them the dog can spot it for you and the dog can spot it through stuff like it spotted our water buffalo walking i don't know what it was maybe 100 to 150 meters away through a hill like there was zero chance we ever could have seen that by ourselves let's say you spine shot a buffalo it's going to take them a long time to die but they are going to die and with that trait active maybe as you're tracking it the dog spots it lets you know where it is and you can get that second shot in there and get a long shot like those kind of things are what the dogs in my mind are most useful for for like a say an experienced player or somebody that doesn't feel the need to have them tracking every animal they take i still think there's utility there and like i'd much rather have the dog there and have that chance of him being able to help in those scenarios than get into that into that spot and not have the dog that's kind of the way i've looked at it i think there were multiple super chats happening there let's actually praise him by the way now they actually showed up um, it's scary. Thanks for super chat. Just got a nine gray wolf. Nice, man. Very nice. Let's actually give him another treat before we get moving. Uh, we had, is that pronounced mayor? Possibly. Hopefully. Thanks for the super chat. You're my favorite YouTuber. Well, I'm honored. Thank you. And Jesse as well. Do you play on Xbox and PC? I do have the game on Xbox. I don't play it very often over there. Mostly PC. I'm curious if you have that copied and ready to paste yet, yeah, Kyla. Head level 5, mountain goat spawn in inside the render distance. Is that normal? What do you mean by inside the render distance? I don't quite understand. Uh, Campbell, thank you for the super chat as well. Appreciate the support. And I did see that. Uh, I was just answering something else at the time. 1.1k in you. Appreciate everybody joining the stream. Hanging out for a little while. Kyle, I think it looks good. I am excited to see more of it, for sure. Typing it all. Gotcha. Was just curious. Small. I don't think these count as... Predators the dogs growl at, but... Might as well take them. The dogs spook the animals. I tried to experiment with that a little bit, both in uh, Friday's video and I think also Friday's live stream. If they spook the animals, it's minimal. Like, uh, we called in several animals that got well into bow range before they went alert at all. So I think even then, you can be bow hunting and have the dog with you. But yeah, like, for the type of hunting that we're doing here, where we're just using guns and shooting the animals, you know, 100, 150 meters out, there's no no negative impact of having the dogs. Uh, what's going on, Great White Ginger? Any big hunts planned? This year, I've got a couple planned. Um, I don't know if they're considered big hunts. They're all just here in the States for White Dale, but I'm not going to uh, say much just yet. You just never know how everything is going to go with all that stuff, so we'll wait and make sure they're going to happen. Praise Mr. Storm and continue on our way. Do you still get the... Do I still have the Diamond Red Brown Wolf? Yeah, he's in uh, the Alpha uh. Wolf multi mount, I believe. Still just hanging out there. Where were these at? Guess they didn't spook at the same time. Uh, Reagan and... How do I say that? Mithrisha? Is that? Is there any chance that I said that right? <laughs> I'm trying anyway. Uh. As a chronically bad shot, uh, dog will generally help me so much. Love your videos and streams. Well, thank you. I like the way you phrased that. Chronically bad shot. I think we all are at times. But yeah, I think in those situations, again... Like, when you're making good shots, letting the dog track the animal and leveling up as a tracker, then you get those situations where you do need its help. 
when they're really high tracking level, like I was saying earlier, they will sprint to where the animal is. They sometimes get so far ahead, they stop and wait for you because you're just a slow human. But yeah, I, I think it's going to be worth it for those kind of situations. Any cool stories about your old dog, Rocky? I couldn't tell you what video it's in, to be honest. But there was a video where... It was in Call of the Wild, actually. It might have been a Wednesday challenge, if those those of you that have been around for a while may recall those. Uh, I was, like, shooting a moose or something, and he just, like, barged into my room and was, like, panting into the microphone, so I put a picture of him on screen and had that. That's a nice four. Excuse me, Storm. Don't run into me. All right. We'll have you go track that now. But, uh, yeah, he, he made an appearance in one video in that way. What's up, tall boy? Had the most traumatic day ever? Well, you're here, so hopefully everything's alright. Where would you like to see a new hunting reserve in the future? I've been talking a lot about either a North American desert or a, um, like, basically Verhunga Part 2, if you want to call it that. Just another map set in Africa. I think it would be pretty cool. How are we looking here? Quarter of the way through seven. I think we'll make it to ten by the end of the stream. Excuse me. Going the wrong way. Guess he had to get the blood that was closest to us. Can you get dogs on PS4? They will be released tomorrow along with uh, all the other platforms. Should be our best moose so far today. 247. I don't love this rack. I wish the brow tines were a little more pronounced, but it's a good looking moose. Oh goodness. That day, tall boy. <laughs> How long does it take to level up your pup? At low level, not that long. Like, uh, I think he might have been level 2 when we started the stream because I was trying to basically fix the max level tracking glitch with Rocky. Um, so I had him track one thing and then got Rocky back out, but yeah, he's currently level 7 after about 45 minutes of just shooting about everything we see. Once you get to the higher levels, though, uh, I think with companion I was gonna be basically gaining one level for every call it like 40 harvest it was either 3% or 2% it seemed to depend uh, so yeah that starts to take a lot longer to gain levels when they get higher up oh splooshed why is that a thing by the way can you guys see that in the bottom left it actually shows the text Flinter was knocked out now. It's single player. I'm not sure why. I've noticed that on this uh, early access build. I'm not sure if it's going to stay that way. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh. Has the chat always been available? I've never tried. Good to know. Most useful skill for ambushers in Call of the Wild? When you say ambushers, do you mean in the ambusher tree? Because I would say sight spotting. 100%. Spluced. <laughs> I'll accept it. What are the different types of dog breeds in Hunter Classic? They have a retriever. They have a bloodhound of some kind. And they have a German short-haired pointer. The pointers are actually really cool. I like them. We better... Why did you sit? That's not what I said. I swear... Excuse me. What is happening? I've seen this a few times. There we go. It's like sometimes the wheel doesn't quite work. I really do wonder if there's like other hotkeys that you can do. Because if there was just a simple key to have the dog track instead of every time opening the window, that would speed things up significantly. Didn't think that could have been a hard shot, so... Spinal cord did the trick. Gotten two mooses with the same rack. Yeah, that'll happen on occasion. How do you obtain the M1? That is a part of the smoke and barrels uh, weapon pack. That, the 10 gauge, and the muzzle loader. 
It was a good weapon pack. I'd recommend it. Will there be new dogs later on? I certainly think so. Again, there's no like official information on that, but I expect it. I keep trying to keep uh, this menu open, then I go to inventory or map or something, and it's always gone. Kyla's dying in bed. Everyone be good. All right, you heard her. Everyone on your best behavior so Kyla can take a nap. What's up, Chase? Stream's been going good. We have Storm out here with us today. Different Bloodhound. I do like this color. I'm really torn now because I like the, I think it's called Black and Tan Full Coat is what we had for Rocky the other dog. But I don't know. I'm quite a, quite a fan of this as well, so we'll have to see. It's going to be a tough decision. I still don't even know what I'm going to name my live game dog either. Where did I hear Quacks from on this side? I don't know. That's a really common question, it seems like, what time the DLC is going to drop. I don't think anybody knows that information. The devs might not even know exactly. I did, Cody. I'm looking forward to seeing more from that game. I think it's going to be good. What's that? Steve Rinellis inviting Plunger to a real-life Great One Hunt on Meat Eater? What, on their uh, Michigan property? What's that guy's name? Mark Kenyon, that he's doing it with. Uh. Maybe 4 a.m. It depends on uh, where you're from, obviously. Not going to release at the same time everywhere, that's for sure. All these small bears around here. Um, TH, thanks again, man. What are the bears that have the... You're talking about the spirit fur type. Those are brown bears. The ones on my bed. Small ducks all around too. Hey, Scarecrow. Typically two to three a.m. PST. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Kind of like early to mid morning, Eastern. It's kind of what I thought. What's up, Jake? Long time fan. Uh, best wishes and keep killing it. I would definitely do my best. I appreciate you, man. Daisy is what I should name it. Hmm. It's a good dog name. It's always different for everyone. There are, uh, I think some games that just do like a midnight release regardless of the place. Because I know sometimes Australia gets like a basically a day advantage on everyone as far as when it releases. But I don't know. It seems like EW just does the same time. Well, one time that's for everywhere. Uh. I'll be in school tomorrow. Well, the bloodhounds will be there waiting for you when you get home then. Wings, thanks again, by the way. What do you think of the Ottoman hunting trailer or have you seen it? Yeah, I watched it. Um, I definitely want to see more. The animations look good. The, as far as I could tell, graphics and like textures and all that look good. And the models look pretty solid, so... I definitely have high hopes. I'm curious to find out exactly, um, you know, what that game has in store, but definitely plan on trying it out. Let's see, 9 a.m. Moose are going to be drinking. We can either switch or we can go to Parquet. We'll see. We'll run around for a minute. We'll see if we can smoke one more thing down here because it hasn't quite been an hour on Layton. And then we'll... Probably try switching it up. Is the dogs a new update for the game? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a DLC that will cost $3.99. Should be dropping sometime in, what, maybe 12 to 18 hours, somewhere in that area? Hopefully 12, because 12. Uh, Jace has to work a double tomorrow, so I have to play like 10 hours after they come out. Well, that's... Better than not getting to play, though. Got a level 8 albino uh. lion that I got kicked before I could claim it. Again, I uh, mentioned that earlier with something else. That That is always the risk, I guess, you're taking of playing multiplayer, but the reward is 
you know, the, the times where you get to claim the animal, and rather than maybe a forever longer hide in single player, you get it that way. It's just unfortunate when you get kicked, like, after you've already found the thing you're looking for. It always hurts a bit. Uh, DH, thanks again. What should I name my dog? You choose. Oh my goodness. I have to choose the name of your dog that you're going to keep forever? Hmm... Let's see. Is there a... I suddenly want to name it after one of the guns that I use in the game a lot. Canning would be a decent one for like the 300. We'd go with that. Should name him Spot? There is that spotted trait, so it all kind of goes together. How do I get... To steady my shot on PC I think shift is hold breath by default on console I'm gonna say it's left stick click or right stick I think right sticks to aim so it should be left our true racks only black buck um all the antlered animals in the game happen now uh. most of the horn species released since 2019 would I have them Black bucks are just the newest one to get them. Snakehead, what's going on, man? Thanks for the super chat. Percy would like a blue bear, also known as a glacier bear, as the great one black bear. Uh. I always liked the old models, uh, glacier black bears. The new ones in classic aren't that good. Would really love to see that in uh, Call of the Wild. What's going on, sweetness? That's a group of mostly small males. That one black tail is decent. See if we can get that real quick. Now he's gonna turn back. No breath at all. Hit him probably a little too low. Must have hit the hill. So, we'll get a better look at uh, Storm Track and more of a distance this time. I swear I missed Red Super Chat as well, so if I didn't already, thank you for that. Appreciate you, man. Is there a Melanistic Moose? There is, actually. There are Melanistic Moose. They're pretty tough to tell. They're just, like, a little darker looking than the commons. That guy hasn't even died yet, either, so... This should be interesting. Are we close enough to have him find the blood? Hopefully. I guess so. Ace is a good one, like a good name. I believe that was Aimfix's dog's name. We rated him on Twitch yesterday, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. No other big males around. What, uh... What should you have a command for, Kyla? He's so far ahead that he's sitting there waiting on us. And this is, again, he's, what, level 5 or 6? Tracker? 6? Just imagine when they get up to that, like, 13, 14 kind of area. They are just cruising right along. How'd you get the dog early? Basically, EW gave myself and a bunch of other content creators the opportunity to play them kind of in early access just to sort of get to show them off a little bit and do, I guess, a bit of testing. Command dogs do not fetch ducks. I could set that up for you really quick if you want. Why don't I do that? Still got an hour. Let's do that as Storm is just tracking right along. So if I make a command called fetch just for you, Bloodhound, I can't spell. Do not fetch ducks, geese, or rabbits. Look at him barking as we're doing our thing here. You should be able to use that now, Kyla. And everybody else, for that matter. Just happened to be communicating there. Wrong button. Good work. I still hate that whistle. Kinda would wish they'd get rid of that, but... Give him a treat. 
Name your dog Copper from the Fox and the Hound reference. It's funny we were talking about that on Twitch. Um, was that yesterday or was that Friday? One of the two. Hey, it works. Good deal. Gooses. Gooses and meese. Should name him Duke? Now we're getting all kinds of dog names. I like it. Can I delete old animals from the old scoring system from my own leaderboard? Speaking of that, I swear I read something in uh, this update about leaderboards, but um, I don't think you can delete stuff from the leaderboard itself. Pretty sure you can like delete stuff in your trophy lodge, but it would still stay on the the leaderboard. Let me check that. How do you even find it? Leaderboards, not like that. Eh, they're still empty. That might be a live game thing. I swear I read something regarding it, but it might not have been that. Can I make a nightbot command that'll take Kyla's allergies away? I'll just go take her somewhere that there's no pollen. Get right on that. No, Jacob, I should not. <laughs> should not name my dog Thicky Biscuit. I don't think... I don't think I could say that ever with a straight face in any video stream or anything else for that matter. They're just making it so it will track your best animals of each species? Okay. I mean, that still would be an improvement, so I'd be happy with that. Perfect. Completely perfect. It's me running around everywhere. That's the best name I've ever heard. It's it's pretty good. I'll give him that, but I just don't think I could say it with a straight face. We're about to get absolutely heckin' trampled here. Well, that'll give him something to do for a minute. And then I think we probably will switch over to Parquet then. What are we at, level 8 now? I wanted to hang on Leighton, like, a while, because there's just so many... Uh, what are you doing? That was weird. Anyway, there's so many animals here, it's quick leveling, I think. But I do want to go and hunt more of the Black Bucks, so... I think that'll be the move. What's up, Billy? Uh, thoughts on the ultimate hunting game? I want to see more from it, but I am quite optimistic. Title shows Bloodhound release. Will other breeds be a separate DLC? I would assume so. It's hard to say whether they would do it as an update or a DLC, but I definitely think like they have to do new models, new animations, new mechanics. Like, why did that not work? All kinds of new stuff, so I would certainly expect like a, a DLC and not just an update. Alright, off to Parquet then. Actually, it's the perfect time to do it. 9.30, so Black Buck should be in their zones. And again, that was something that was talked about earlier in the stream. It seems like animals are getting to their zones when they should now. So we should just have Black Buck pretty much straight away wherever we choose to go here, which... Hmm. Why don't we... Where did we kill the diamond? That was up there. Why don't we go down here first, then? Yeah, that's what I thought, Scarecrow. I'm curious if there's gonna be... Um... Like, antler variation, or a lot of it. That is a big deal in my mind, but that's also something that probably can be kind of handled later. Still think Fleetum Flinger was an amazing name. It, it's quite good. I mean, probably Jacob, but it's it's fine. He'll he'll be fine. Have you seen an albino red deer? They're quite rare. I think I've had probably for stags at least four or five of them. I don't know if Kyla's still here listening, but uh. My mom just texted me a frame that is 
the size. Not the size that we were looking for, but the normal size. She's trying to help. Small pie ball, let's get that. So excited for the change in how they get to zones and call the while and you reset the time. Yeah, that's a big deal. Like it whether it's multiplayer or like resetting the time in single player for grinding, it really was unfortunate to lose like a significant percentage, let's say, of any animal's drink time. Zaggy has a video on the new hunting game, and I like what he had to say and share. It was only like a 34 second trailer, so I want to see more of it before I start uh, having too strong of an opinion, I guess, but it looked good. If they have at least a large variety of antlers, then everything else will be somewhat forgivable. Graphics and animations look pretty good. I thought they did. What's your biggest diamond true mule deer? I think we had a 334 or something. It was the one on the 24 hour stream actually, unless that one goofy racked one scored higher, but I barely even count that to be honest. Should be finding that any second. Just a small pie bulb. Probably should have waited for in the bark, but it's fine. Onwards with that. Shot an albino bison the other day? Nice, dude. I keep on saying this, but any of the, like, larger animals, bison, moose, uh, elk, the rares just look a little cooler. And CGI, I do. I've got 12 or 13 real life hunting videos on my channel here. They're in playlists you can check out. Apparently we will have two maps, a North American and an Africa map. Is this information from like the devs as for their roadmap? Roadmap? Roadmap for the year? Or where does that come from? Parquet is underrated. I think Parquet had a couple of issues that really hurt its like long-term success as a map. Black Buck and Axis Deer, and Cinnamon Teal for that matter, were such common diamonds that I think eventually people got tired of coming to this map and not having a challenge to kill some kind of diamond. I think that's mostly been fixed. I haven't had nearly the luck with diamond cinnamon teal as I had in the past, and Axis Deer and Black Buck both now don't make diamonds super consistently. It has Mule Deer, it has Red Deer. Water Buffalo are fun for the most part. Sometimes they're a little annoying with how aggressive they get, but it's a good map, I just think it it took too long to get everything fixed for it to be like a really long-term favorite for everybody. Oh! Two maps at early access launch. Good to know. Shut an albino diamond jackrabbit? I've always wanted one of those. I think that would be such a cool super rare. Pretty cool. Uh, which IRL vids do better when you post them here on the actual Meat Hunters channel? Well, here's there's just a, a larger subscriber base that the notifications get pushed out to. So they end up doing better here, but on the Meat Hunters channel, a lot of times they have a higher watch time percentage, so more of it gets watched over there. The analytics of that stuff is interesting to say the least. Got a diamond albino lion? Those are cool. That's another one, like, the rares of those are really neat because they're just such a big animal. Uh, you must mean 356? Beige diamond gems buck? That's another one. I've never had a beige diamond, and I think they look so cool. I want one, but I've never had the luck. Uh, Taylor, there's not going to be any that I'm aware of. Should have to all be through the DLC. Let's keep an eye on this. Bond is still good. 
halfway through level 8, and what are the traits that we're going to be going for? Sixth Sense or Nosy? I want to try Nosy and track a bit with that before the stream's over, so hopefully we can start shooting some stuff that's not female Mule Deer or Black Buck. Shot a Diamond Piebald Fallow. I saw a couple of those posted. That's got to be one of the coolest looking super rares. There's something about like the piebald and then just the giant paddles they have. That's a solid buck, but I don't think we're going to get it. Not without breath, we're not. We tried. Get a parquet diamond mule deer? I don't know if they're more rare than Silver Ridge Peaks, to be honest. We've had one of each now, I think, since everything got fixed. Feels a little extra special, I think, to get them on parquet, like their kind of original map at this point. Yeah, wish I had the other gun equipped, but we're going to kill something. We definitely could have gotten that mule deer, but I just want to keep Storm tracking stuff so we actually level up as we go along. Triggered, so I reset my game and try again for Fallow. Hold on, are you saying you're doing that or you're going to do that? I'm quite curious. I must know. I wonder where he got that information, Godzilla. Pretty cool animals, though. Not again, says Johnny. It might happen. I wouldn't be too shocked. You wanna bark? Let us know you found it. I hear footsteps and I kinda wanna shoot a thing. Didn't even hit it. Dory is fine. <laughs> he just goes running over there. Huge Trurek, black buck female. I don't get any bucks at this lake, which is kind of sad. It would be nice to be able to get a couple. Anyway, how on earth did we lung shot that? Huh. Probably never going to do that again. Let's praise him and give him a treat for doing well. Okay. Pretty cool. Attack of the Black Buck. I wanted to be cool like Twitch, but I was not. I want to now. Yeah, it makes sense. Not good enough with all these diamonds. My birthday is the first, so I'll have a dog in the game. That's cool. And happy early birthday. Thirteen hundred fallow deer in one albino, which was not a part of the response anyway. It was all from initial spawn. That's insane. Need to get at least one next shot no scope from now on. That or a clutch diamond. That's how streams have to go. Are you doing a stream tomorrow? I think I'm going to do a video and a stream. I haven't really decided the order that that's going to happen in. So depending on what time they release, might do a stream first, might do a video first. Who knows, but plan on having both. One level from 60 and I'll reset. I mean, when you have the M1, you just gotta get past that initial phase of not having a decent scope and you're kinda set. Let's get Storm to growl for us a little bit. Ooh. Yikes. Poor thing got smoked. I think ultimate hunting might be better than Call of the Wild. I think that is a leap, to be honest. Uh, nothing against the game. I'm hoping that it's... I mean, I hope that it's the best hunting game out there, because... Who wouldn't want to get to play the best hunting game out there, but from a 34 second trailer, that's a lot to uh, assume, I guess. Don't know if you guys can hear that growling over the music and stuff, but up to level nine, one away from a new trait. Smoked. I didn't even look where we hit it. Hey, Simon. 
Where are you going to stream? It'll be on YouTube. Uh. Still don't have a clue for the time. What's up, Twinkies? Welcome back. Hopefully the snow shoveling went well. Do you think the Bloodhounds will come out on Xbox? They are meant to be released on all platforms tomorrow. Should be like a simultaneous release, which is good, because obviously Tate Auro ahead, it's struggles with such things. Should they add the dogs doing tricks? I mean, they can shake, which is nice, and sit, obviously. And lay down and all that if those count as tricks. Not so much, but... Yeah, it would be actually kind of neat. Let's see if we can go two for two on this. <laughs> Not quite, but lungs do well enough. Oh, what's up, Joe? Thanks for the super chat. Just can't wait to get me a bloodhound named Old Red. Thanks for keeping us informed. It's my pleasure, man. It's a good name for a bloodhound as well. I don't know what color you'll go for, but this might be a good one for such things. As Storm is growling away at this poom over here. Strugs. Um, I don't think so, Pupper. Nothing too special. That's uh, pretty cool, though. Watching from horseback, that, that might be a first. I can't say for certain, but I don't ever recall anybody uh, mentioning that anyway. It's pretty cool. We were so close, just a little behind the heart on that. Let's continue keeping the bond up with Storm. Staying up all night, is that the plan? I think I'm probably just going to not staying up till like 7 for me. I'm late, what happened to Rocky? Well, basically there's a... Some sort of bug where you hit the max tracking level and the dogs kind of track in slow motion. It would just be frustrating uh, to try to do all stream long. I don't think because of that though, I'm going to be able to reach like the max level with uh, companion and get to try out the brave trait. I really wanted to. Hello. That just spawned in, did it not? I swear we saw that spawn in. That was weird. Anyway, yeah, I, I wanted to... Thanks for the warning. I wanted to make that uh, part of tomorrow's video, but... Just can't see that happening. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Got crushed. It's like the Cape Buffalo from the 12-hour stream all over again. Yeah, that's the thing, Johnny, not knowing when it is. Like, it could be... You said 5 a.m., that would be 8 a.m. here. I would just be dead by the time it's out and then my content is just big bad glad we got the second shot because the first was uh, just uh, a little bit to the side off to the red deer dying from allergies poor Kyla mean dog dad what for dropping a gate buffalo on him after he warned me that I was about to get attacked. He's supposed to be trained to stay out of the way. I don't know what to tell you. Spent minutes before the stream training him to do that. Is an albino mountain lion rare? I would say albino mountain lions and pumas are maybe in the more common tier of rares, but still definitely a rare. What does scat found mean, just wondering? Basically, they just found some kind of animal droppings. I think there's a skill for that, in fact, or a trait. It's called, like, poop dar or something goofy like that. Yeah, your dog has a higher chance to find fresh droppings while idle. I think that's, like, any time it says scat found, I think it is fresh. There's a black buck running by. Better keep our 243, because as expected, <sighs> we're getting <sighs> trampled. We got that one, I think. Now they're going back. What the heck is this? That's a good one. Well, luckily, Storm's on the case. Okay, so we killed at least two. What's that one? Ow! There's so many. Now we gotta run all the way back. Didn't consider the fact that I usually have a tent here. This is not my normal save. So... 
Good to know that it doesn't crash the game when the dog has found an animal and you're getting dead. For black bucks of all things. We left a trail of destruction too. Take the short way, I guess. Rip. I really, I saw my health and we were standing there not getting run over and I thought, huh, we must have chose the right spot. We're not gonna die. And then we died. Smoked. Later, Simon. Maybe go this way, we'll find something else neat. Just wondering what is your dog's name? This dog is named Storm. I had Rocky with us for the last stream and couple of videos, but switching up a little bit today. How much are the treats? 4,000 for 25 treats. And Perrin, they don't do anything with ducks. What's your farthest drop shot besides Musk and Roe Deer? I really don't pay attention to drop shots specifically. Trying to think back. I know we've shot some diamonds from over 400 meters. I can't remember any of those specifically being a drop shot, but it's possible. Some class nine rifles, uh, the 300, seven mil, 4570, 470, 9.3. It's not a rifle, but the 10 gauge slugs as well. You kill Rocky, drop a water buffalo on Storm. I swear Rocky's alive. He's just really, really slow when he tracks. Yeah, since you guys are asking what happened to Rocky, there's a track. A track. There's a glitch when you reach uh, max level tracker with the dogs. And they sort of slow motion track, but I'm hoping there's a workaround. I sort of got something to work before the stream, but the game crashed and repeating what I did was not working. I'm guessing once the entire community gets their hands on the dogs and people level their dogs up, if there's no fix for that. I have been told by the way they're working on it, but if there isn't a fix by the time people start to reach max level with their dogs, I'm guessing workarounds are going to be found that are more consistent. Because I'm guessing I did the thing that needs to be done, but it wasn't what I thought. So I probably did something else in my sequence of uh, kenneling him, exiting the game, starting again, and setting him as active. There must have been something else in there that made it work, and hopefully, like I said, when everybody has access to them, whatever that workaround is can be found. What's going on, Ashley? Uh, okay. Whoa. We've had a few stutters. I don't know what these stutters are, though. Not a fan. Are we good? There was a, a point in time where... Randomly, the game would run at like 2 FPS for a little while. I don't think that's what that was. That was a little bit new. The dogs can't die, they cannot. Which is good, it's smart. Your parquet does that? We streamed parquet, did we not? Or did we? What map did we do in the stream? I think it was Parquet, and we had those issues then, so maybe it's the map and not the dogs. Frame Strugs. Um, Mason, I'm not sure of my diamond count because this is not my like normal save. This is for the early access build. I think it's like 705, something like that. We need dying dogs. I don't think we need dying dogs. That would be quite saddening. 30 months? Is that what your badge is? If only they let us have beyond one year badges, because like on Twitch, for instance, that would be a two and a half year badge, which I need to get ones made for that, actually. Big mail. Maybe I'll redo the badges on YouTube a little bit to add the cool one that I like. No worries, William. We'll catch you in a future stream, hopefully. What would be the best gun for me to buy? 
Honestly, I would get the Smoke and Barrels weapon pack and grab the M1 if I were you. It's a pretty good uh, grinding weapon and just good in general. How do you get the big mail but I'm in the group? Like the emotes? You should be able to just uh, hit your emote key there in the chat. Not the keyboard one, but the one like on the YouTube chat box area. Whatever it's called. Alright, Simon. We'll catch you later. Finally on all platforms? Just gonna be keeping our fingers crossed that that all works out. Interesting the Black Buck are out here now. Because they weren't when we came over here before. Then they all ran us over. And they just claimed the area as their own. Interesting behavior for a species that I didn't know was uh, aggressive. Not a hard shot. I think we hit the dead zone between the lungs, in fact. I don't think that'll kill him. We'll see. If you die, then what happens to your dog? Uh, we actually just died up here. We got run over by Black Bucks, and basically we got warped back to the lodge and the dog was there with us. I was impressed with that. I did wonder what that might do. Because he was also barking that he found... I think it was a red deer. I don't think we've claimed that yet. But yeah, had no problem. No, you, Billy. What gun for the Black Buck? That was the 243. I did check, actually, the M1... Not the M1. The Mosin has not been fixed. It's still inconsistently hits low and right it's really odd like if you guys have not tried it if you take it to the range in Hirschfelden it's most obvious at like 300 meters some shots hit pretty much dead on some shots are like several inches low and right which is I can't even imagine what would cause the gun to be inconsistently accurate in a game like in real life there's reasons in the game it's a little odd all right I am a bit worried because we did die, there's a chance some of these animal carcasses are going to be invisible. And I wonder if that could cause the game to crash. There's a couple here. He's tracking the one that we hit poorly. It's not what we want. Get him to track these instead. What's up, Ragnar? Dead on at 300? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I think it is only a PC thing. Nice. It's kind of like our leucistic, but less ugly. I didn't notice that when we shot it, though. I thought it was... even. Give him a treat for that. Also, we haven't done enough bonding, so... Also, gotta pet him real quick. I think they get more XP, so... Try to keep him at the max when we're having him track. Is there a glitch where your dog can retrieve stuff? I mean, I can't imagine why there would be. Speaking of dogs, probably one more tracking session will be good. Weirdo horns? Just a little bit. It happens. Something's running by again. That's a buffalo. I want nothing to do with that. Would prefer to not get run over. It looked like it had two different color horns. It most certainly did. There is level 10, so we can get the nosy trait. So I have to shoot something and let it run for a while and just see how well he tracks now. I'm curious. You think these people read? Nah. That's kind of nice. The, the mass at the bottom is the thing that stands out on these horns. I like that. Middle neck shot and everything. You found him, even though we were already claiming him. Proud of you, man. Dream animal in Call of the Wild? Are you saying dream animal to get as far as stuff that's already in the game? Mm. Leucistic, Bighorn's Diamond, Cape Buffalo.
I don't Paxton. I've I've never uh, never been super interested in like that really style of content myself. Gonna attack so many black bucks tomorrow. I can't wait to see. Like I'm gonna be watching the Call of the Wild uh, trophy shots channel a lot. I just want to see different diamond horns variations because I think the one that Crow got is a good bit different than the one we had here. So I'm hoping there's other variants as well. Diamond Mela Red Deer, please. I was gonna say I'll race you, but there's no way I'm ever getting a Lucistic Diamond K Buffalo. <laughs> They're so rare. I guess Melanistic Diamond Red Deer is probably up there in rarity as well. There's definitely more red more rare red deer than rare K Buffalo, but the Melanistic Red Deer just rarely spawn. I'm leveled up in tracking as well. We're moving right along today. He's almost a level 10 tracker where 15 is max. That nosy trait may be worth it though, because I don't feel like at level 9 before the dog was that good. And you can see, he's not following exactly the tracks anymore. He's kind of going directly to the animal. I may very well use that one instead. Because I'm not... It's nice that they'll let you know. The other trait uh, option there for level 10 is Sixth Sense, and basically your dog has a higher chance of sensing when an animal's about to be spooked. That's nice, but they already have a chance of it to begin with. It does say a higher chance, so I think Nosy may be the way to go with that one. I did want to, and again, maybe I'll be able to get Rocky to work later and maybe I can just grind all evening to get him to level 30. I wanted to make a video talking about like the best traits to give a, a Bloodhound, but at the rate that things are going with Rocky, I can't imagine I can try out level 30. Nosy is amazing. Yeah, I didn't I didn't expect that to be as good as it uh, seems to be. There's another good one. Mythical. He's actually nervous too, so he should stop. Oh, he's just gonna go take a nap. Let's see if we can hit that wide black buck then. Should be smoked. Oh. Not gonna lie, I thought the red deer was far enough away that he wouldn't hear that. Oops. Glad you can make it, Cooper. Hope you're enjoying yourself here. Let's just send him... Well, let's hit the wrong button. And then send him off. Literally just gonna find it right there. When are you doing the IRL pronghorn hunt? Hopefully this fall now. We'll have to see because I've already got some other hunting plans in the works, but it depends on just when that can happen. Let's get him to sit. It's nice that as soon as you claim the animal, they like stop trying to find it or whatever. Good that they don't get stuck there. You should just nap, Kylie. Don't worry about it. Tips on hunting ducks with decoys. I've had very yeah. little success getting that to work. DT did it in a couple of videos. Um, I'm not sure what his setup was. Maybe you could check those videos out and see. But, yeah, I just... I can't get it to do anything at all. More black buck. Another decent four. I like that one. I think that's kind of like the legacy horns, though. Dilute mule deer... Let's just try to kill that. It's right about in 243 range. And Drew, thank you for the super chat again. Gotta do homework. Good luck with the hunt. I appreciate that, man. We'll hopefully catch you in a future stream as well. Yeah, that's like the... Legacy diamond rack. Yes, Scarecrow. Should they get Marco Polo sheep? Honestly, that would be really neat. They could be huge, and they're like, they're a lot bigger body-wise than doll sheep and bighorn, or they can be anyway, so would be a pretty cool little trophy to be able to get. By the way, we're at the lake where we shot the level 3 cinnamon teal and crashed, which 
I believe means it should still be on the map. There's somewhere just straight across from us, but I'm not too worried. There's that guy again. And a five ball, that's neat. Maybe we can get them both. I want the red deer first, because he's actually pretty big. Cool. My friend has very bad Wi-Fi, so I always get rich on his maps. That's another thing, actually. I believe that is going to be fixed in this update. I don't know how to pronounce those, but like, Pear David's deer and hog deer, to be honest. The true acts for those, whatever they are, Pear David's deer, that would be so hard to replicate because they're, it's almost like they grow randomly. They're such odd antlers. Smoked. Thanks, Rebecca. Should they add squirrels or a Georgia map, in your opinion? I mean, anything new in my mind is good. It just comes down to being able to sell the map. Like, if they did another map that had all the same species as Leighton and was just in a different area, I don't think a lot of people would, like, actually pay for the DLC. So, whatever they do with, like, either of those, they just gotta make it new in some way. If it's not a bunch of new species, then new mechanics or something like that. Looks like you found our red deer. Probably gonna hit level 10 tracker during this stream. 219 for that guy, so I guess he wasn't much bigger than the 7. He looked good. And we'll just praise him and get him to track the mule deer that's literally right there. Uh, yeah, weapon pack 4 is called Smoking Barrels. It's odd they didn't just number it, but maybe they were trying to make it seem a little more appealing or something. Pretty neat to get a random piebald mule deer, and the, and the better looking piebalds as well. The one with just the little white patches on the side. It's not quite as good. Such an odd thing, I don't get it. Eventually I'll get used to it. Georgia map with a bunch of snakes? But why? Why do that? Besides being fun to have a pup follow you around, does the Bloodhound really add to the gameplay or mechanics? There's a couple of things they do where I think it will be potentially like really useful to have them. In my opinion, stuff like the spotted trait, which you get at level 20, Potentially the Brave Trait or Master Tracker, depending on just how you play the game. Like, for me, I don't think I'm going to use Brave because I sort of want animals to attack me. Although, if they can ward off Cape Buffalo and Water Buffalo attacks, I'm usually... This is kind of stupid, but a lot of times I just don't feel like shooting them, so I just run away and hope they leave. If they can ward those off, I may actually use that trait instead. But anyway... Those things that you can get at the higher levels, I think it's going to be worth the time invested to level them up when they are lower. I swear they literally used the legacy horns for this one. I mean, they got to be true horns in some way. They're not exactly perfectly even, so I guess they're a little bit of a true rack thing. Are they gonna? Are they gonna do different breeds eventually? I expect them to. They've definitely not said that they're gonna, but I think it'll happen. Do you think they should add a new map with bobcats? I think, like a map with several predator species, could be a lot of fun. Add like some kind of e collar or something like that. Could do a lot with that. Kyla's got strong opinions on modding. Plus, they can track when you get a tracking bug, so it's amazing for multiplayer. Yeah, again, those situations that... I guess, you know, rarely arise. But they do happen. You want to have your... Your dog there by your side then. And like I said, when they help you in those moments, it's quite worth the investment early on to get them leveled up to be able to do it. A Georgia and Wyoming map? 
Oh, you just mean two different. Okay, I see. Are there armadillo in Georgia? I was not aware of this if they exist. Bren agrees. I mean, my stance on modding or hacking or whatever is if you want to play the game and if you enjoy it that way, like, more power to you, I guess, but I would just, you know, rather that's kept out of multiplayer because it's happened a couple of times. Like, I will go into a multiplayer server. It happened on Yukon to me most recently, but I realized it was hacked before I killed anything actually good. But actually, Parquet is a better example. I shot Final Legendary Puma. Didn't think much of it. Hit record, shot it. It was max score. I was like super hyped because I've never gotten a very big Puma or Mountain Lion. I think 39.6 or 7 Mountain Lion is our best, and that was after this happened. So before that, it was maybe 39.4 or 5. Like all my Diamond Pumas and Mountain Lions have been pretty small. So I was all excited about this, and then I saw another legendary Puma later on in the hunt. Not that rare, right? There's there's multiple Diamond Pumas on a lot of maps. Shoot that one, also max score. Then I saw a legendary Red Deer, legendary Water Buffalo and stuff. Realized that it's just hacked, and yeah, I don't want like non-legitimate kills, so when that happens, I'll pass up on like guaranteed diamonds, so for instance, the last time it happened was a couple of months ago. I just left a level 5 wildebeest chilling on Rohunga. I try to keep my diamond count where it should be, even if... Goodness. Even if I have shot ones that are, like, hacked in, I'll just, like I said, leave one to sort of even that out. It's just annoying when it's in multiplayer. If people want to do that in single player of shooting every animal and getting a diamond is entertaining to them. Whatever, but... Eh. Not for me. Yeah, Brent, that's the thing. I didn't even realize. Maxway Mule Deer? Let's see. Excuse me, sir. You're staying real close right now. Do you think I'll use the dogs besides bow hunting? I think the way that I'm most likely to use the dogs, because I, I know usually how I treat new updates and new content in this game, I'm probably going to have him track pretty much every animal I shoot until he's max tracking and max companionship. And then I'll just have him by my side, and in the situations where I need him to track, he's going to be right there and ready to go. Otherwise, he's just going to do his thing. Hydrate if you haven't already needed after that one. It was a long-winded explanation, I know. Why hack at a game that's already too easy? I never really understood it, personally. Like, uh... The only difficulty is, like, the time you got to put in to find stuff. And that's, uh, you know, the hacking eliminates that, but at that point, you're not even playing the same game. You're just, it's a point and shoot simulator. I don't know. What's up, Dave? What did I miss? Uh, nothing too special. I'm already giving up on that mule deer, by the way, because they were old tracks. I'm guessing we may see it drinking down here later. I mean, that's true, Scarecrow. I just figure... Like, the reason I say I'm okay or more power to people who are modding is because at least... You know, they're having fun or whatever, but when it's in multiplayer and it starts to impact others, that's when I'm not cool with it. They could have hyenas work like wolves, but on an Africa map... A lot of people want hyenas, too. I think we'll see him one day. Exactly, Michael. There's, like, literally, what is the point of the game? I don't get that. That's the thing. Because there's some games you can hack and get unlimited money and then ha you have all the best equipment or whatever. And I guess you could do that in Call of the Wild and still have to grind, but... A lot of the stuff that goes on in this game is, like, making the animals bigger. I think, I think some people know that and are just asking anyway, Kylo, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Pretty sure. Exactly, Scarecrow. Like, if they bought the game and they're 
doing it to not mess up anybody else about the game. Like, have at it, I don't know. Kyla's had it up to here with this. I like your voice, it's soothing. Why, thank you. Make it a command, Billy. Do it. This is Riguru Bayou for sure. Did you see the ducks? It's obviously Riguru Bayou. It's the only answer. Is the M1 pack worth it? I already have the 7 mil and the 243 as my loadout. Honestly, the M1, if you don't do like a lot of grinding for deer species in single player or say uh, medium class game species in general, the M1's not going to help you that much. But the place that is most useful in my mind is when you're doing like fallow grinding or whitetail or red deer, whatever. When there's like two bucks or stags standing side by side, you're going to get one with a 7 mil and then maybe you can hit the other one as it's running off. The M1 having that semi-automatic capability, you get that uh, follow-up shot in before the other one flees, and a lot of times you're saving yourself tracking time, which is a, a big deal. Only have one diamond black buck, happen to be max score, max weight. Well, it's a pretty good one to have then. Um, in real life, Krusty? I do, but I haven't found one in quite a long time. Are you saying the lack of shooting Hunter Man? We were just wiping stuff out on Leighton, but we got to level 10. There's a something. Small mail. It's dead. Hunter, I think it looks good. I definitely want to see more of it. Good work, Billy. I'm proud of you. Good work. Asking Nightbot if the Bloodhounds are cool. If only Nightbot was that uh, useful. Give you a treat before we claim him this time. What about an out shout? <laughs> um, if you believe hard enough, it could happen. There's some black buck. None of these look... Uh oh I think there's a puma down there. Yeah, that's a decent one there, too, up to 132, but... Everything getting spooked by that guy. They'll probably stop in view. It's a lot of open ground over there, so let's just kind of run a bit and try to stay where we can see if they do stop and offer us a shot. And they're heading across there. That's the one we want to get. Okay, he's nervous. I don't know the range. We're going to hope that it's about 250. See if he stops again. Yeah, I'm going to say it was about 250. <laughs> think that was it. What's up, Ghost Rider? Welcome back, man. Very excited for this DLC. I think a lot of people are. And they've got reason to be. Everything I've seen, minus like the max level tracking bug there seems to be, everything I've seen seems to be really polished and well done. <laughs> Looking forward to getting to play it in the live game. Uh, zombie, speaking of uh, the one bug I just mentioned, are there any major bugs slash glitches with the dogs? All right. The only real like major bug that I'm aware of is when you reach the maximum tracking level, they, when you send them off the track, they track in like slow motion and it's quite annoying. I did find a workaround. I've said this so many times in the stream, but I'm sure uh, some of you guys haven't heard this and this is actually something worth mentioning. Basically, I put Rocky in the kennel, I closed the game, relaunched it, and then set him as active. And it was working fine. Like, he was tracking like a champ. He was, I mean, that max double track, and he was just zipping around, finding everything super quick. But the game crashed. I shot, like, six black tail in one spot, and I couldn't replicate that. So I don't know what I did in putting him in the kennel and stuff. There must have been something else that made it work. I'm hoping for the best when the DLC drops and, like, the entire community gets their hands on him. 
once people start leveling their bloodhounds to the max. Hopefully, it can be found like whatever um whatever I actually did that made that work. And until a fix is released, that can be it. I have not seen this. They usually avoid the animal carcass, but he has claimed this as his own, and um, we'll just ask him to stay there. Heart shot at 2.30. Not bad. Anyway, what I wanted to do was give him a treat. Welcome back, Kyla. What games do you play except hunting games? Honestly, right now, I guess Subnautica is about the only non-hunting game I play. It is a hunting game, but that's me getting hunted by the Leviathans and not the other way around. Uh, let's go here, I guess. We've shot some stuff here. Maybe we'll get a favorable respawn. What gun for the Black Buck? We're using the 243. Really not the best option, but until the Mosin gets fixed on PC, that's kind of all we have. You can dismiss it, Billy. And I'm guessing it blocks half the screen, so they dismiss it without reading it. I tried, you know. What do you do? Do you have to buy the treats, and if so, how much? In-game cash, they're 4000 for 25 Worth every penny for the pupper treats. Must be another puma over there? I don't feel like that happens that often in these areas, and it could be, again, zones, uh, animals going to their zones <laughs> has been kind of updated and maybe fixed, so could be why. Looks like we're going around that way. Anyway, uh, Black Marlin, thank you so much for the super chat, man. That is super generous, and I appreciate you uh, for that. Thank you, dude. Um, Brent, I have not killed a single diamond red deer on Teyaroa. I've shot several legendaries, they've been trolls, but um, yeah, I've not had any luck there with actual diamonds. What's wrong with the Mosin? On PC, it inconsistently hits, that's actually a huge three, uh, it inconsistently hits low and right. If it consistently did it, honestly, I'd probably use it and deal with it, but sometimes it's like way low and right, and sometimes it's just a little low and right, and that inconsistency is just, that's asking to mess up some kind of diamond. Oh yeah, Kyla. <laughs> I see. Just got a small piebald axis buck, not too bad. He has to share that. Don't worry, I got you. Appreciate you, man. Ever had a diamond road deer? I have not had a diamond road deer in forever, but we do have one in the trophy lodge. It's actually um, in a multi mount with a piebald and melanistic gold, which looks pretty cool. Man, I don't even know when we killed that, though. A really long time ago. Trying to. Oh, we actually. I'm kind of accidentally lying. We killed one on a Twitch stream in January. It's like a smaller rack one. The big rack one we have, I think, was Quattro. Do you have a video for the loadout for Hirsch? Uh, I don't know if I have a recent one. I don't think I do. Honestly, if you want my recommendation for a Hirsch loadout, 300... M1, 243, and 22, and you're set to go. Kind of thought we could make it, but nope. How many species of great one? There's just whitetail for now. I do worry that we may not see another one for a while yet, because they still, like a year later, haven't seemed to get a handle on those, but eventually, we'll over that. Yeah, Hunter, I totally did. Completely forgot about it. It was a small male, though. Charlie, you, you at least can't bring multiple bloodhounds. Now, in multiplayer, I think you can have, uh, like, everybody on the map could have their bloodhounds. But 
I'm gonna guess there's gonna be no point at which you can bring multiple dogs, because that's a lot of AIs the game has to deal with, but maybe in the future we could have like a Bloodhound and a Retriever with us. I highly doubt that, but you know. Would never say never when I don't know. You're not getting big red deer, I find that crazy. Every map I go to seems to have lots of max white ones. Only place I can't get big reds is the south and west. I do kill a lot of big ones. I've seen tons of mythicals and big sevens. And like I said, a couple of troll nines, but none have actually made diamond. That and turkey, I've killed no diamonds of on that map. And I spend a good amount of time there, like in areas where I can see both of them. I think it's interesting, to say the least, that I've just struggled with them. Where the heck was that black buck? There he is. Right as I shot that. Oh, it's just a mule deer. Okay. I thought there's another one. There you go, Billy. Just have ten bloodhounds tracking down every big male in existence. Is it true that the dog has defended you from predators? They do bark at them. I'm not sure if it actually does anything. But when you get to level 30 on the companion side, which is this one, you can unlock the Brave Trait, which if you read that, your dog has a chance to ward off predator attacks. I really don't know what they do. I'm going to try to fix um, the issue I have with Rocky after the stream, and if I can get it fixed, I'll attempt to grind all night till I get to level 30 and have that in a video, but I tried a lot before the stream and I could not get him to work. Chez says hi bye and hope you had a good stream. Well, if if she can hear me, or if she can't hear me, I guess, tell her I said hi. And I did have a good stream. It's been good. It's been a good two hours. Billy wants to know what's going on. How do you get 25 treats for 4,000 in-game cash? Does the dog cost, and if so, how much? Okay, so the DLC is $3.99. Once you buy the DLC, the first dog you get in-game is free. The second one is 45,000 cash, and from there on, they're 45,000 each. Happened to you last time? There must be something new they're doing with uh, the moderating stuff on YouTube then. Well, that's cool. Goldie Cystic Plains Bison. I like them. This guy's got interesting horns. That actually makes sense though, unlike the crazy leucistic one we shot. Okay, we'll see if we can clutch a mule deer or something, and then we'll be wrapping up here. That is odd, Billy. Who knows? What's considered a big Rocky Mountain Oak? Well, Diamond is 481, I think, so, you know, anything in that general area is pretty big. Mythical Puma, some water beefs, all the teal we could ever want at this lake. Small though, there's some mule deer. Actually, that's a good one. Don't see anything else, so I think he'll be the one. All the hard shots today. Won't let mods be nosy anymore. That's harsh. I wonder why it pauses the stream, though. That almost sounds more like a bug than anything. Look at these guys spawning as we're leaving. Thinking they're all slick, like we wouldn't see them. Just a bunch of small males, so... Guess we don't hardly need to see them. Probably let them go. Big beef! How many animals do you usually kill between diamonds? I was trying to do the math. So I have 31,000 harvests and 700 diamonds. Doesn't that... Am I mathing wrong? What does that come out to? It was something like 45 or 44. It seems like it should be way higher than that. The thing is, like, a lot of that stuff's in multiplayer, and I'm not killing nearly as many animals in multiplayer as I am in single player, so... In single player, it's probably several hundred. Gonna raid Scarecrow in a minute. Thank you for reminding me about that. Sploosh. Hmm. 
Billy's ready. I see it. Nice, Curtis. Trying to find the message and I can't find it. Where is it? Uh, glad I finally got to watch one of your live streams. Have a great one and take care of Kyla. Good ones are hard to find, that's for sure, man. That's for sure. Appreciate you, dude. We'll hopefully catch you in another stream or in the comments somewhere. What have I missed in this stream? Eh, just a lot of, uh, basically leveling up a new doggo. Um, who's supposed to be barking, but not. Huh. Lack of bullets does no good. There you go. You tell him. I don't know why you're looking at me when you bark. Probably should look at him, but it's fine. Level four, small male. There we go. We'll send him to track, even though it's probably not that necessary. Honest opinion on the dogs, what would you change about them? Honestly, my biggest thing is this right here. Like, he, I think, has found the water buffalo, but for some reason there's quite a delay in the amount of time it takes for him to actually start barking to tell us that he found it. That I wish would be fixed. And then, unless he's actually just... There we go. Now he's going to actually track it. So there's that. There's still the delay. And there's a bug with, like, when you reach the max tracking level. Once that's fixed, I'm pretty happy with them. I think the devs did a really good job of make it to where you're not, like, babysitting your dog. They are pretty capable of just doing their thing, and you can just kind of hunt. And I think that's what most people would want with it. Uh, single player, mostly 156 diamonds, 11,000 harvest, roughly a diamond every 71. How much does the wind affect rifle shots? I don't think it affects them at all. I've not seen anything to suggest that it does, but I really, I can't say for certain. There may be like a tiny effect. None that I have noticed. Okay, we saw that guy already. We'll let Storm track down the mule deer that's literally dead right there. Close to new levels with him, but we'll give him a treat for finding that. Solid enough, Mule Deer. 257. I think that's the only max weight one we managed to get here on Parquet. Give Mr. Storm a treat. And I think we're going to do a mini uh, YouTube raid over to Scarecrow's stream. So hopefully he's live. Um, Kyla can probably let me know if that's the case. And if he is, they should uh, have the link in chat relatively soon for you guys to go over there and see that. All kinds of stuff spawning in after we leave. Interesting. What animal do you think you resemble the most? Uh. Hmm. I have no idea. A squirrel. He is live? Alright, good. So Kyla has the link in the chat. If you guys want to go check out Scarecrow stream, he should be doing Bloodhound stuff as well. I don't know exactly what he is playing, but... Go check that out. Hopefully I will see you guys over there in chat. And on that note, I think that is going to do it for this stream. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the support as always. And I'll hopefully see you in tomorrow's video, live stream, or in Scarecrow's chat. Bye!